It's the 2nd of July. I'm Jerusha Sukhthia Roth, and let's have a look at newspaper front pages making headlines around the country. We'll kick it off with the star. It's a story that everybody's talking about. Disorder in house, it says. Of course, referring to EFF MPLs in the Gauteng legislature yesterday who had to be forcibly removed by police. Now, what happened was the Speaker of the House took objection to what the EFF were wearing. Perhaps not necessarily the overalls, hard hats and domestic workers uniforms that they usually wear because you'll know that they're allowed in the National Assembly with these outfits on. But apparently it all had to do with a party insignia on the back of one of the overalls. The Speaker gave a 10 minute adjournment and gave them time to get changed into something different. The EFF allegedly did not want to do that and police were called in to forcibly remove them. Let's have a look now at the front page of the Times. Fake licenses to kill call for audit of all gun permits since 2010. Now, Gun Free South Africa is calling on police to audit all the firearms that have been issued since that date. Now, this comes after police officers have been arrested for issuing fake gun licenses or improper gun licenses. And Gun Free SA, of course, wants stricter control over the guns in the country and especially want all these licenses to be audited. But if we have a look at the picture here, it's it's a devastating picture. Captioned end of the game, it shows a Texan cheerleader proudly with her kill. It's a beautiful male lion. And um, it begs the question, do we want this type of tourism in South Africa? Is it worth the conservation money that it brings in? Well, let us know what you think in the comment section below. We'll move on now to the front page of Pretoria News, City's 30 million rand power crisis. Now, in addition to there simply not being enough electricity to keep South Africa going during the cold months, we see now that cable theft is also leading to power cuts, specifically in Pretoria. It also seems that parts of Johannesburg are experiencing power outages because of lack of power, and now it seems that theft is just adding to the problem in Gauteng. Finally, we'll have a look at the front page of the Cape Times. You'll know if you follow News 24 Live that President Jacob Zuma recently signed in a land restitution bill that essentially allows land claims to be extended from the 1998 deadline. And it means that if South Africans who were pushed off their land or had family pushed off their land in the past can now go and claim for that land. And it seems the Cape Times are also reporting that San and Khoi people can now make land claims too. So for these stories and more, visit news24.com, follow us on Twitter and Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And stay tuned to News24 Live because we'll be keeping you updated on these stories throughout the day.